Hello, my Tubies and my TikTokers. This is part three uh, regarding marriage. It's about compromise and negotiation. It's about giving. Yes, it is. When you wake up each morning, you're supposed to see what can you do to make your partner's life better or easier. Now, and I think about my second marriage, you know, it was, it was me pouring into him constantly. He poured nothing back into me. And then I was like, what are the benefits of me being with you? And you know what stupid answer he gave? Well, you got me. You got a man in the house. What kind of bullery is that nonsense? And then you have to keep in mind, he didn't have one disability. He had two. He had TBI, traumatic brain injury, which made it, you know, him a little slow. And it took him a long time to process things. What would take you or me, let's say an hour to process, it would take him like a whole day or two days, whatever that's about. I guess if he was really interested, he could have done better. And then he had some physical, he had uh, like uh, cerebral palsy. You know how their arm is, what have you. I didn't care about none of that because I loved the man. I didn't care about all that nonsense. But I got sick and tired of each and every day. Not a day would pass when this kid was like, can you help me with this? Can you show me how to do this? Can you do this for me? And I was like, you know what? This is just like so one-sided. I'm sick of this nonsense. And then you turn around and have the audacity, the nerve to cheat on me? Cutthroat, stab me in my back? No, that's crazy, this sweetheart. No. I'm doing 97% of the work and you barely doing the 3% and you want to complain about that. This is Sheila True Love. No, baby, I know my worth. I know my worth. I was married with that character. I was with him for 11 years. 11 years of trying to, how can you negotiate with someone who have no common sense? You know, common sense is not so common. How can you sit here and try to compromise when th there is no compromise with this character? Everything has got to be his way. Or here comes a, an argument. He turns into a five-year-old, uh, uh, hitting closets, knocking them off the hinges, punching holes in the walls. What? What? No. Oh, hold up for a minute. No, baby. Uh-uh. She the true love is not trying to live like that. So something had to be done. Many times I had to kick him out. He had a room that he had to go to because you need to get yourself together, buddy boy. And when you are on a break, you know, sometimes you have to be on a break. That don't mean that you're broken up. You're on a timeout. And with a timeout, that's to give you time out to get your act straight. That don't mean you get to lay up and sleep around with different people. So like I said, marriage is about giving. Compromise, 